G'day guys, um, we sniff a bit of a lockdown coming so um, <laughs> we're doing a bit of a video, a different video today. We've got um, young Marlin here hey, and uh, Ben. G'day. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so we're just going to talk about brim fishing today with the lads. And so, obviously, this is marlin. And um, what do you fish? <laughs> what are you fishing, mate? Like, oh, fishing. Yeah, what craft? Tone's got a nice little tinny that we just got a wrap on lately, and that's our that's our go-to. We've had it for ever since I was born. It's a top ender. Quintrex, so it's, it's a it's a good it's an awesome model. They reckon it's one of the best models going or best hulls going around in the Quintrex models anyway. Oh, look at him. Look at the mouth on it. This dog. is this is this is your biggest one. Yeah. Come on. This is a beast. <laughs> <laughs> But your main one is the kayak. Yeah. yeah, but my main one is the Hobie. I love me Hobie. Oh. He's gonna make fun of us about our fire. <laughs> yeah, so, no, the fire will come good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just we just started this fire as well. So <laughs> what systems do you fish? Uh, so I fish anywhere for rim, down Paddo or up in the city like Docklands. But one of my favourites to fish for rim is Gippsland, like the Bem, Marlow, all those beautiful places. Um, hold some beautiful trophy brim. Yeah. Yeah, little grub guys just smacked him. And if I was going to go to the Gibbs land or something, when would be the best time? Uh, summer and especially February, March, because that's when the prawns kick in in um, Gibbs land. And my favourite way to target them is on a bent minnow, and it just imitates like a little bait fish or a prawn skip along the surface. and. It's probably the most exciting fishing you can do in the estuaries. Top water. Just because it's top water. So what gear do you use for brim? So the gear that I love to run is, this is one of my favorite um, outfits here. It's just a little 1000 Shimano reel with a one to three kilo dollar rod. Mixed it up a bit, but it is a lovely combo. Really light finesse. I run a, um, a 10 pound braid, but it is real thin. So it's more like a three or a four pound braid with a, a four pound leader. So that's that's pretty much my basic rim setup. And how long was the leader? Oh so the leader is say this is a this is a seven foot rod. I always love to have my leader knot where just above or where I hold my line here because then when you cast your leader knot is not on your reel so it doesn't get tangled up. That leader will probably be about two to two and a half meters. And you use so it's pretty much two rod lengths. For brim, four pound to six pound? Yeah, four to six. And with top water, I like to fish an eight pound because you do come across big floodies and tailor because you are using a bit bigger lure. Yeah. Yeah. And you, they, they are expensive lures, so you sort of um, put a bit of insurance into your line. While we're on the lure subject, what's some of your best lures for brim? Best lures on the market for brim is the OSP bent minnow. Um, especially this colour, it's a it's a prawn colour, but it's got a pink head. And if you've done any brim fishing, like surface-wise, you know the pink head bent, bent minnow works a treat. I'll, just give I'll, you, I'll get shots up. Just give you a close up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you. I'll get shots. We'll, up we'll get some close ups in a second. Right, uh, so that, that is that is one of my favourites. That's your favourite top water. All right, what's your second favourite top? Before you move on into your tricks, what's your second favourite top water for brim? I didn't bring any. Just, just say. Ah, uh, 
top water wise, especially in estuaries, would have to be the tomato um, soft shell cicada, or cicada, whatever you want to call them. Um, but they are one of the, the probably the best bass and perch lure for top water on the market. All right, so Evan, your third. Oh, just brim lure? Yeah, top water, just top, top water. Oh, that's about it. Okay. Top water. All right, so hard favorite hard body. Hard body. So this year, um, or pretty much every year when we go down to Ben River, the lay down minnow is one of or the best hard body lures to use on the flats and in the snags up the river or out in the lake on the um, flats there. It just slays the brim. It is awesome on the perch too. But the second favorite for this year especially was down the, down the front on the big yellow fin brim because um, this little double clutch you got down a little bit deeper and it suited that water perfectly. And in the prawn colour, which was the prawn run at the time, just slayed them. Right, so what's that one called? This one is called the Dial with Double Clutch. Yeah. It's in a suji shrimp. So that in the, what did you say? That, the suji shrimp. Suji shrimp. Yeah. So it's just, and what depth water column? The water, the depth that I was fishing was about, um, two to two and a half meters and this lure suits that perfectly so what this lure was doing was hitting the bottom and creating big dust clouds on the bottom and the brim have their heads down feeding on the bottom so when they see this lure darting in the sand in the mud they just swim up to it and smash it straight away this one's had a few bite marks on it it's all about the pores yeah isn't it? and it's all about the pores especially with black brim in victoria it is all about the pores when you twitch and twitch and twitch it hard, and just on that pause, they just come out and smash it. And it's the exact same thing with your surface lures too. All right, um, soft plastics. Soft plastics, Z-Man grubs. What about the key techers? Oh yeah, the key techers go all right too. We're right? talking favorite for brim. Favorites for brim, everyone would know that the Z-Man grubs in the 2.5 best soft plastic on the market for brim. That you can use them all year round, um, all types of structure. Let's go to your second one. That fire's going good now, eh? Right? Uh, up there is your K-Tex. These K-Tex paddlers, um, or easy shiners as they call them. They are a little paddle tail, and the action on these are just amazing. They smash the perch, the brim. They've got amazing little colors, and the big ones also um, are really good on the dewies. Ah, uh, this is another one of my favourites. Paul Malov got me onto these, as many of his videos shown, that um, these are just killers. They work on the pontoons, on the flats, um, in structure. They're awesome, just like a little creepy bait. And then the Munro soft plastics in a paddle tail too, in like a motor oil or even the Swarf, um, have done really well for me, especially down local in the Patterson River on the perch and the brim and yeah they're 2.75 um for probably me, me second or well it's up there with the lay down minnow which was one of my favorites uh, these are the lucky craft flash minnows these are a prawn uh, a bait fish imitation and these slay the brim on the flats they're just a shallow dog and hard body that twitch really well Kookaburras love them too. Yeah. And um, <laughs> yeah, especially down Ben River this year. Ripper. All right. So who's who's your favourite angler in Victoria? In Victoria, yeah. Oh, probably Mitchy Chapman. He's a gun, a gun estuary fisherman. Never seen anyone like him that catches so many fish. Like I fish with him a couple times, and he just throws a plastic anywhere or a hard body anywhere, and he just hooks up. He's just a he's just Bloody, he's like a, a fish whiz. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's just... Any tips for the punters? Oh, so tips for the punters. <laughs> if you if you want to start chasing brim, especially, um, what would you say, like Melbourne area or Gippsland area? Anywhere. Anywhere. So, one of the main things that I find that um, a lot of new punters don't um, do is run a light leader 
I find that the black brim especially are really leader shot or can get really leader shot. So that's why I tend to run a four pound or even a three pound leader. And that just eliminates chances of your fish seeing your leader and it gets you more bites. Yeah, um, that's yeah, it. Yeah. The other thing is, especially with soft plastics, using a lighter jig head so it looks more natural and has a bit more flutter to it is also really effective. Yeah, guys. Chinook salmon. Rig's rigs here. Rig's rigs here. I'm a ticking off star. On the ultra rig. We're gonna take this one home. Yep. He's under 30. <laughs> oh, really? That's actually bigger than I thought. Do you want to grab that brad, Matt? Zach? Yeah. That's a beautiful There you go, guys. 70 centimeters. And grabs. <laughs> Do it lengthwise. Like that? Yeah, come down. Come down. Is that good? Yeah, he looks huge. Yeah, you tell me. Is that alright? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that looks huge. <laughs> that looks a hundred. <laughs> Wait, Chuck, is that GoPro? I'll video release him on the phone as well. Which GoPro? This one. Yeah. Underwater. And, and yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I was trying to make you not notice when you tried to take off my fish. Where are you fishing? 